is in Paris for the B&B &B hotels. Now for me and... Um, now then, how do? Right. Grasmere down there. That is Keswick, which is behind me where I'm going. That steel fell. That seat sandal, which you come off at the end of leg two. I'm heading off to go and do leg one. It is a chilly morning this morning. As always, there's always a chance of rain. Right, let's get cracking. And he says they have their next goal before using. Uh, like you should have, you know, your time off. There we go. So I've arrived at Keswick. That is Skidor this time. We can actually see nearly all of it. The sun is out. There's a chance of rain. And as always, Martin Fuel is supporting this. So details for them are in the description below. And also some money off on your orders. Right, let's get cracking. We need to go to Keswick to Moot Hall to make a start of leg one of the recce of the Bob Graham round. Right, so we're off again on leg one um, by myself this time and hopefully it'll be a better day. It's a bit of sunshine out. Right, we'll try this in time warp so you'll get to see quite a bit of stuff, hopefully. <laughs> Right, to the chap that said hello this morning. Thanks for shouting. <laughs> a YouTube viewer who uh, spotted me. And uh, he was stood there basking in the sunshine. I put too many layers on. So we're on Spoony Green Lane now, heading up towards Skidder. And I have to strip off. Well, take something off anyway. Bit overdressed. <laughs> it's a decent, decent day for a change. Yeah. So I forgot to start my stopwatch at Moot Hall, but it's just turned 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna try and eat every 30 minutes. Shouldn't be hard to remember, hopefully. <laughs> it's blimmin' warm though, goodness me. Completely underestimated how warm it's gonna be. Anyway, right, it's still on Spoonie Green Lane, or the end of the bridle path. Now get into the car park behind Latabarra. Latabarra? No, that's the wrong one. Lat rig. There you go. This is what happens when fatigue sets in. Oh, if there's one reason to rock an 80s headband and to be uncomfortable. And to do the Bob Graham round, it's for the views. Look at that. Amazing. I dare say we could keep up if we didn't have these big rucksacks on. <laughs> I wouldn't want to try, mate. No, me neither. I want to enjoy the day. Yeah.
passing under Skiddorf Lower Man, which is up there. The ridge in Skiddorf Summit is up there. Great Calvary is one of those, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know which one it is. I'm going to guess in the bottom there is the river called you, which I'm going to have to negotiate in these. And that is Blencathra. So, in the daytime, and on a decent day, you can pretty much see it all. It's just clouded over a bit, I think there might be some rain coming, so it can't be anywhere near as bad as last week. But, yeah, I don't like the rain. I don't like the rain. Right, so, better run this bit, because it's flat. tends to happen with these things it's got very cold because it's breezy on the top but what a view you've got Derwent Water, Keswick, Cat Bells and pretty much if you could see it a lot of the Bob Graham but we're just going to get this one tapped out and get off the top because I'm chilly just breaking into the cloud now. <laughs> so just in time for a wardrobe change. The clag is coming. And look, all the views have disappeared. <coughs> right, so we're going to go and get the summit, run over the top, and hopefully get out into some better visibility. Now then, another great view spoiled. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Gonna get off the top, we're going that way. Now we're in uncharted territory. Right, 
just walking for a bit now, faffing with phones and maps and stuff. But in the distance there where the trees are is Skidder House, you can just see the rooftop. Um, and this is the saddle nearly, the bottom of the saddle before you go to the climb that goes up Great Calvert. So, so yeah, thankfully out of the clouds. Not quite as windy either. I've made it to the stone circle. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to check the map because it said something about the stone circle, and it's just in my head. So I'll have a quick look. Uh, get the right page though. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? Climb path along shooting butts to skirt south summit. Butts. I can now explain how wet it is underfoot. I know it rained a lot last night and I know this is a rubbish view, but believe me, the view or the feeling underfoot is absolutely horrendous. I'm waffling because, yeah, this is the welly leg. <laughs> it really must be the welly leg. <laughs> the sound of proper running water now which hopefully means it's draining off the path and yay we can start running again right been brought out at a bridge just have to negotiate this bit that's the bridleway crossing and we're going up there GoPro battery fail again, two batteries this time, but it got us to Great Calver, which is that one just behind me. So instructions are follow the fence down to the River Colgy, which is what I'm doing now. Right, so that's Great Calver there, come down the fence line through all this, Ugh, yeah, whatever it's called, I've had, yeah, Heather, Heather? <laughs> right, past the sheepfold or the stone circle, that's the river, and now you just follow the river down according to the instructions to near enough where it meets the next bit of river and then goes straight across up there. And that'll take me across Monk Grisdale Common to Blencathra, hopefully. I'm looking for a really nice, well trod path, but there doesn't appear to be one. Not that I can see at the moment, not there anyway. I really underestimated how much walking there was going to be because it is so dodgy underfoot in some bits. But yeah, run walk strategy. Plenty of birds as well. Right, so I've badly negotiated all this stuff. That's the river, which is the bit I've been least looking forward to, I think. And um, so there is no bridge. I don't think there's a set route. My feet are soggy already. It is just going to be cold, grim, and hopefully not too deep. I'm not sure if there's a good spot. 
but if I can I'll try and find the best spot. And unfortunately the GoPro's died because this was going to be the exciting part. Well maybe for you lot anyway. Right, I got across the beck, the river. So right, I'm going to bash on now, try and get onto this path that I can sort of see there and uh, get and get some better visibility. But we're out of the wind which is good because my feet are freezing. <laughs> It'd just be nice to get back on a path. Where are you? Hello? Hello? Right, so starting the last climb of the day. Blencathra. Oh man. So this is the last of the running for Inbala, certainly until I get over the top. I've tried to run some of that, it's just such hard going. So boggy. If uh, if I have got the route right, and there's a good chance I haven't, if, I, if I've got it right, you don't want to be doing it when it's rained like the night before. I know yesterday it absolutely tipped it down. So everything's expectedly to be, expectedly? Bound to be sodden. But, oh, that just, yeah, broken me. It's broken, it better on it broken me because I've still got to run back to Keswick to the van. <laughs> I can't bring that taxi or jump on the bus of shame, can I? Right, quick snap. You're at the top of uh, Blank Catherine and then figure out how on earth you get off it. Got to avoid Hall's Fell or certainly the top of it where it's supposed to be quite rocky and maybe just go along to Doddick a bit and then come back on. So anyway, hopefully the cloud will have... Well, it might not be in the way, it might be in the way, who knows. It's going to take me a while to get there, I know that for certain. Proper sketchy with spiky shoes and lots of stone. I'm going to try and do the Doddick one. That looks great to come up, but yeah, not so great to uh, come down with spiky shoes. Unfortunately, the lovely view that I had is now gone. <laughs> so, this is the descent I've just come down, heading right down what is now pretty much a grassy slope all the way down, and that would have been the Hulls Fair, Hulls Fell Ridge and you don't seem to lose much height in the first bit but then it obviously drops off like a cliff <laughs> so is this the better one? who knows maybe do both but this is proper sketchy as well because yeah it's proper ankle twisting yeah anyway I can see Thrill Cold which is just here so I need to get down go to the coffee shop get a coke and maybe a coffee and then run back into Keswick. Is the, uh, the the ridge that I came down, um, and that up there is the whole ridge bit, which is still quite high to still come down. And I'm going down here, which is flipping steep to put it mildly. Coffee shop is that way. Not a bad view. Not a bad view at all. On this track now, which runs underneath all except, is that the parachute? Maybe this is the parachute here. So we're gonna head down somewhere through these trees to the kennels, the farm, and then into Threlkeld. Oh, bye Eckers. Bye Eckers. So 
there we go, made it to the road crossing. It is half past two, I have no idea how long it's taken me. Um, I'm sure I've probably had it here, right now. And the mileage as well, for the whole day, he's going to be nearer 20 miles-ish. So, there we go. That's some of where we've been. That's where, if you were doing the bob, is where you're going. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.